Airbus continues to surprise its fans with groundbreaking innovations. Renowned for its proactive approach to customer feedback, the airline giant has unveiled a game-changer upgrade to its immensely popular A350, a model that has already achieved over 1,300 sales. This revolutionary enhancement to the Trent XWB84 engine is set to make waves across the aviation industry, significantly affect both airlines and Airbus's rivals. What exactly are these game-changing upgrades, and how will they reshape the future of aviation? Dive into today's episode to discover the answers. In recent years, Airbus has achieved remarkable success in expanding its market share, initially aiming to compete with Boeing in the aviation industry, but quickly rising to become the leading aircraft manufacturer in the world. Recently, Airbus has continued to affirm its strategy of prioritizing passenger experience and operational efficiency by upgrading the A350. Simon Bird, the Director of Engineering Technology and Safety at Rolls-Royce, emphasized the company's continued focus on optimizing the fuel performance of its Trent XWB84 engine, already a significant success in its current iteration. At the Singapore Air Show in 2016, Rolls-Royce introduced the Enhanced Performance EP variant of the Trent 84 engine, with Singapore Airlines being the first to place an order. This new variant draws heavily on technological advances from the more powerful XWB-97 engine used on the Airbus A350-1000 and lessons learned from advanced testing. The goal of the EP model is to boost fuel efficiency by up to 1% while also cutting carbon dioxide emissions, making it more environmentally friendly than the standard XWB-84 engines. One of the key improvements in the EP variant is the use of newly developed turbine discs crafted from Rolls-Royce's proprietary super alloy, branded RR1073. Initially designed for the Ultrafan engine program, this material is capable of withstanding temperatures up to 50 Kelvin higher than the current RR1000 alloy, allowing for a more predictable and extended service life. Additionally, Rolls-Royce has revamped the high-pressure turbine blade cooling system, redistributing airflow more effectively to dramatically lower operating temperatures, thus enhancing the engine's longevity and performance. Production of these advanced turbine discs is already underway, with plans to incorporate them into both the XWB-84 and XWB-97 engines shortly. The EP version also includes upgrades such as improved turbine cooling, refined aerodynamics, enhanced secondary air systems, and tighter sealing between turbine stages. These changes are aimed at further optimizing turbine blade clearance and reducing inefficiencies. Meanwhile, Rolls-Royce is addressing durability challenges in the XWB-97 engine, particularly for operations in hot and sandy environments. A new sand-resistant coating is being developed to protect engine components, and high-pressure turbine blades will be fitted with upgraded casting layers to minimize metal wear from extreme temperatures. These enhancements are expected to be delivered by the end of the year, setting new benchmarks in engine resilience and efficiency. This upgrade is not only for cost savings. As the aviation industry faces increasing pressure to reduce carbon emissions, even a small improvement in fuel efficiency becomes critically important. Airlines are under scrutiny from governments, environmental groups, and passengers who are um, increasingly concerned about ecological impacts. Having a fleet with better fuel efficiency not only helps in meeting these regulatory demands, but also provides a significant marketing advantage in a fiercely competitive market. However, the path to implementing these upgrades is numerous challenges. The aviation sector is notoriously conservative about risk, and with good reason. The consequences of failure can be severe, affecting both safety and financial stability. Rolls-Royce, has subjected the new engine to rigorous testing, including a two 800-hour hot cycle test at their ground facility in Derby, UK. These extreme durability tests, which involve monitoring 2,500 parameters, highlight the company's commitment to ensuring reliability and performance. These tests are crucial in validating the engine's performance and reliability before it enters widespread commercial service, aiming to meet high industry standards and expectations. But why has this upgrade garnered so much attention? We will explore after this, but before doing that, listen to me. You won't want to miss hot news and our interesting analysis about aviation, so please subscribe if you're new here. We would appreciate it if you like, share, and leave your thoughts below. Thanks a lot.
The answer is based on the intense competition within the aviation industry, where even the slightest boost in performance can transform into millions of dollars in savings for airlines. Fuel costs are among the largest operational expenses for airlines, and improving fuel efficiency by just 1% can be the difference between profit and loss, especially on long-haul routes. To put this into perspective, consider a long flight from London to Singapore, which typically consumes around 70,000 liters of fuel. A 1% reduction in fuel consumption saves 700 liters per flight. Multiply that by hundreds of flights each year, and the savings quickly add up to millions of dollars for a single route. Now imagine these savings spread across an airline's entire fleet of A350, operating on numerous global routes. The financial impact becomes enormous. Beyond cost savings, the reduced fuel consumption also directly contributes to lower carbon emissions, aligning with stricter environmental regulations and enhancing the airline's sustainability credentials. In a world where eco-consciousness is growing among both regulators and passengers, such fuel efficiency improvements are not only economically attractive, but also critical for the airline's image and long-term competitiveness. The real test for these upgraded engines will come when they are widely deployed in commercial service. If successful, the improvements could solidify the A350's position as the most efficient long-haul aircraft in its class, allowing it to maintain a competitive edge for years to come. Airlines operating the upgraded A350 may see significant improvements in profitability, giving them a competitive advantage in an industry where profit margins are notoriously slim. But what happens if, despite all precautions, unforeseen issues arise once these engines enter widespread commercial use? The aviation industry still remembers the reliability issues Rolls-Royce faced with its Trent 1000 engines on the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. These problems led to aircraft groundings, major disruptions for airlines, and significant financial losses, costing Rolls-Royce billions and reducing its market share. If similar issues arise with the new upgraded engines, airlines operating the A350 could face groundings, flight cancellations, and massive financial impacts. For Airbus, the risk is high. Any failure in performance or reliability could damage its hard-earned reputation and lead to order cancellations or shifts to competitors, threatening its position in the wide-body market. Rolls-Royce also stands to suffer significantly if things go wrong. The company has invested heavily in these upgrades, both financially and in terms of its reputation. A major engine failure could threaten its future in the commercial aviation market. However, it's these very high risks that often drive innovation in the aviation industry. The potential rewards from success are just as enormous as the risks of failure. In your opinion, are there any further obstacles or limitations for this engine? Should Rolls-Royce and Airbus succeed in delivering on their promises, they would gain a considerable competitive edge. Airlines operating more fuel-efficient aircraft would stand to save substantial costs over the lifespan of the aircraft, potentially influencing fleet decisions for many years to come. So how this upgrade from Airbus affect to Boeing? The upgrade of A350 engines presents a significant challenge for Boeing, especially in the long-haul aircraft market. Boeing's 787 Dreamliner has long been praised for its fuel efficiency and operational performance, but this manufacturer's latest move threatens to overshadow those advantages. A 1% improvement in fuel consumption efficiency for the A350 may seem minor, but in the aviation industry, even small numbers can have a substantial impact on airlines' purchasing decisions. Now, Boeing faces the hard task of not only matching but surpassing these improvements to regain its competitive edge. This challenge is further complicated by Boeing's recent history. The company's reputation took a hit following the issues surrounding the 737 MAX, which raised serious questions about Boeing's quality control and inspection processes. These setbacks eroded customer trust, and now Boeing must not only work to rebuild that trust, but also demonstrate its ability to deliver competitive products moving forward. The A350 upgrade by Airbus, particularly through its collaboration with Rolls-Royce on the Trent XWB engine, could attract more customers, potentially putting Boeing at risk of losing its main market share in the long-haul aircraft segment. If Boeing can't keep up with their advancements, it could see its position in the market weaken further. Looking ahead, competition between Airbus and Boeing will intensify, 
especially as both companies face increasing demands from airlines for performance and efficiency. Airbus, with its A350 engine upgrade, is setting a new standard that Boeing will have to keep up with. From the consumer's perspective, this could lead to significant improvements in service and comfort on long-haul flights, as airlines continue to optimize costs and enhance the passenger experience. However, the aviation industry is unstable, and factors such as new technology developments, environmental policies, and global economic fluctuations could influence how airlines and manufacturers tackle future challenges. As we continue to observe these developments, it's essential to remember that innovations in aviation not only impact aircraft manufacturers, but also each passenger, with the hope that every upgrade leads to safer and more economical flights. As discussed, this has a significant impact on Boeing. We leave open the question of what Boeing needs to do to listen to your feedback. So feel free to let us know by leaving a comment below. Thank you and see you next time.